American regionalism is going to be a reaction against the horrors of World War I. The American artist is going to move away from the avant-garde style to a more conservative form, focusing on ideas of nostalgia, on ideas of a better time. So we're going to see this American regionalism, and this is a realist movement that was widely appreciated for its reassuring images of um, the American heartland and Americana overall. We will see regionalist art, which is a relative, uh, relatively conservative and in a traditionalist style that appeal to popular American sensibilities. And there are really two branches to this. There's going to be American regionalism, which is your typical rural scenes, the sort of thing that's going to be particularly reassuring during these difficult times post-World War I, but also during the Great Depression. We're also going to see social realism as part of this movement, looking at the isolation, looking at what it is to live in an urban environment. So we're going to have the urban side in terms of social realism, but we're also going to have American regionalism, which is an umbrella term dealing with both the rural and the urban forms of art at the time. And like I said, these are typically very reassuring forms. These are things that are going to be nostalgic and comforting. And this is not that uncommon. In difficult times, we do this. In fact, we've dealt with it already with Winslow Homer. And we're going to see it again here. A lot of it is looking at ideas of Americana, of what makes America great, reminding people of how wonderful not only the country is but their life overall and oftentimes in the case of Grant Wood and some other artists reminding the coast of the importance of the American heartland.